welcome to Sunday Evening Vespers. One more time, I'm reading from Penny's and I'm reading a, a short essay entitled Downey on the Reed. This, this happened just about a half a mile down the road here. There's a, there's a, a BJ's. Next to the BJ's, there's an IHOP. And I was meeting someone for breakfast at IHOP, someone who needed to talk. They were, they were struggling with some things in life. And so we were meeting for breakfast. And uh, that's, that's the, the backdrop to, to this little essay. There is an operative axiom that just might be encoded in my DNA. It is certainly in my Pennsylvania Dutch culture and ingrained into my familial heritage. The code of conduct so pervasive is simply this. It is better to be half an hour early than to be one minute late. Consequently, habitually throughout my life, I have had free time at my disposal upon arriving for scheduled meetings. The first thing I do upon arriving in the parking lot of the designated meeting place is to look for a nearby wooded path, a, a weed-filled fence line, an abandoned railroad track, or an open field. The second thing I do is start walking, being incredibly careful not to pass beyond signs that read, no trespassing. Such was the case today. Next to the parking lot, beside the diner and behind the economy mart, there was an edge of scrub oak, cattails, giant reed, green briar, and sumac. So I took a little hike to experience created life. A mere five minutes into my suburban safari, I noticed a downy woodpecker on a mission to find lunch. With his little feet clinging to the stalk of a giant reed, he tapped away in syncopated time. Downy woodpeckers are not as shy as many of their cousins, and so we spent quite some time together without alarm. He posed for pictures on my smartphone and even did some tapping for videotaping. However, I soon checked my watch and said a quick goodbye. It was time to head back to the diner because, well, it's better to be a half an hour early than one minute late. Heavenly Father, I thank you for what you show us in the collective moments of life. If we would just again slow down and notice, take a little walk around the corner Go to the edges where so much life moves about unnoticed by many. I'd also ask, Heavenly Father, that, that you would help us. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's a hang-up of mine or something, something so ingrained in me. But, but I also, Lord, just feel like sometimes folks are not conscious enough of the time of other people. But to be late to an appointment is to, is to steal time from someone else. To habitually do that is to habitually steal time from other folks. Help us to be a little more conscious of our responsibilities, to be on time, to even be a little early sometimes. Help us to be thinking more about others than we are about ourselves. And who knows if we... If we begin to practice that, you might show us downies on the reed. Good little pictures of your created world. And how wonderfully you have put all that together. So go with us this evening, Lord, and help us again. Good night's rest tonight. And as a, a new week starts out in the workplace or the schoolyard, Help us, Lord, to seek to serve you first. And we'll give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.